Brian Lewerke. Um, played football at Michigan State, quarterback. Um, I was number 14. Uh, I was born in Seattle, Washington. Uh, moved to Phoenix, Arizona when I was 12 years old. I've lived here ever since. Um, hoping to have a, a good draft day and uh, just trying to see where I'll go. My experience in Michigan State probably was the best uh, five years of my life. Um, obviously five with my redshirt year. Um, playing for Coach D'Antonio, he was a fantastic coach. Um, I loved playing for him and um, his staff that he created. And uh, the, the three years I started, um, uh, the three out of five years I started in, in my time there, had a lot of fun, um, broke, a, broke a bunch of records and um, had, a, had a great time playing with my teammates. To break all those records and to win the print, uh, the pinstripe bowl, that was a great feeling for me. Um, it was probably the best way to end, um, you know, my five-year career. And we sent the guys out the right way and tried to um, keep the energy up for uh, the following year, coming off a win. Um, and I was, I was glad I was, I was very close to beating the um, the completion record too that Kirk Cousins had. I was like two off. So if I had just thrown a couple more bubble bubble screens or something, would have gotten him. But um, you know, that was that, that, that was obviously a great feeling to be able to win that game. My favorite game that I played in, and um, obviously had to be a win, um, the Michigan game in 2017, <clears throat> going on the road to their place. Um, it was my first road game that I'd started as a starter, um, and to be able to to, to be down in uh, Ann Arbor and at their at their place, the way that game was, it was gritty. Um, a lot of turnovers that they had, and um, with with the rain, the monsoon downpour rain, and we were able to, uh, to grit one out. That was a uh, probably, probably my favorite win of my career. To get ready for the draft, I've been, um, you know, obviously it's 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 a little different situation than the most years I would say. Um, I just actually got back from East Lansing. Uh, two days ago, uh, back in Arizona now, um, I was kind of trying to work out as best I could up there and try and find some guys to throw with um, that were still up in Michigan. Um, but now I'm just trying to stay in shape however I can, throw with my dad in my backyard, um, but just try and stay in shape the best I can to uh, be ready for whenever this stuff ends. I think the, the most valuable thing I wanted to do at Pro Day was just to get on the board um, with coaches and be able to talk with them in person, um, just to show who I am and what I know about football. And I, you know, obviously I got to do that a little bit at the combine interviews and at the uh, NFLPA interviews, but I wanted to just get a, another opportunity um, at my place just to watch my film and uh, talk about it. Um, obviously throwing, I definitely wanted to do that. Um, haven't been able really to do anything since then. Um, like a you know a little small workout or something. Um, I was hoping maybe to do that back when I was in Michigan, but I wasn't really able to. So um, I guess I just have to let the uh, the game film, the combine stuff speak for uh, speak for itself. Combine was a great experience for me. Uh, I felt like I put myself out there in a very good way. Um, I talked to coaches and I think I I, I interviewed very well. Um, I. Michigan State prepared me. They have a very good pro style offense. I think they prepared me very well for um, the terminology that the NFL uses, and I was able to kind of impress some coaches with that. And obviously, my on the field stuff. I think I I threw well, um, ran okay, but but I think I uh, showed some stuff with my arm. Done a a, a good amount of virtual interviews, um, FaceTimes calls with scouts and all that stuff and you know face on with some coaches um basically it was, it was kind of the same stuff that we did the combine just going over plays and um seeing seeing what what you can remember and kind of your 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 short-term memory type stuff i think i've adapted pretty well it's not the ideal situation but um for what we have to do and for you know obviously we have great technology now and this is what it's supposed to be used for I think uh, coaches and the uh, all of us um, recruits or whatever you call them are uh, using it to pretty pretty good advantage. Well, I just got back to Arizona, so I'm st still trying to figure out what how I'm going to work out down here. But back when I was in Michigan, it was uh, would wake up. Uh, me and me and Joe Bocci lived together, uh, linebacker uh, from Michigan State. Um, we had we had an Airbnb up there, but. We would wake up, make breakfast, um, try and get a little workout in, whether it's run around the block or 
whatever it be. Um, come back, eat some lunch, um, watch some uh, Netflix or HBO or something, and then uh, maybe take a nap, eat some dinner, and then just kind of got the night to yourself. So, you know, play video games, watch TV, do some, um, try and study. We'd watch some NFL films type stuff um, just to get acclimated to football and still be involved with that uh, somehow. Some advice I got from guys that were um, already in the uh, in, in the NFL. Felton Davis, um, um, him and uh, Matt Silk, who was still there, uh, I was talking with some of them, and they were just saying that, the first of all, the, the combine process can be grueling. Um, Felton did it last year, and he it said it's very um, – you can get very tired doing it. And I think that the, the schedule that it was kind of changed this year, uh, we did most, most of our workouts in the afternoon. So it was, it, I think it was a little easier for us. Um, but I, th I think the biggest thing I just uh, took away is just to make the most out of everything you can in this time. Um, especially in, in the, the uh, situation we have right now in the world, um, you definitely got to be able to do stuff on your own and um, just try and stay in shape whatever, uh, however you can. My parents, obviously, I think my dad primarily, probably been my, my biggest role model and the biggest influence in my life um, up until this point. Uh, he's the one that kind of wanted to move down to Arizona, um, in part just because he, he got a new job there, but um, also because football was, I think, better in this in this part of the, uh, the country, and he wanted to get me into a place where I could uh, hone, tone in my craft and um, really perform at a high level and to have that opportunity to play in high school um, and then college and uh, hopefully the NFL. So he's he's been um, a huge part of my life. I would say my style of play is one that is I can um, throw the ball obviously I think very well but I'm a very athletic person as well and I can um, beat teams with my feet. Uh, my film has definitely shown that I've had multiple long touchdown runs um, both on design runs, uh, like design quarterback inside zone reads, or if the pocket breaks down, um, I can um, find a way to make space on a third and long if I need to. Um, so I think, you know, a guy that can throw the ball very well, but is also very athletic. And the biggest thing that I want people to know about me, um, I'm a very, very hard worker. Um, if I, whatever team I'm on, I'm going to make that team better. Um, no matter if I'm playing or if I'm, if I'm on the bench, I'm going to push guys around me. Um, I'm going to push myself to be better. Um, and overall, I just want to make, be a positive influence on an organization.